morning. I wanted to do a quick flip through um, of a little something I made for a giveaway um, on Junkers Craft Co-op. Um, I did a, a live video on our group um, this past Sunday and had a giveaway. And I was showing kind of how to gather some papers um, to give it a soft vintage look. So this is what I came up with, and then I gave a giveaway of um, if they made what I made on Sunday Live, which was um, vintage looking envelopes as a challenge, and posted them, then I would pick a winner. So I have a winner. Um, Faye Chapman in my group is my winner. And this is what she's going to get. Um, she doesn't know I added some little extras, which I would do for anybody. Um, just because I can't send just plain papers. It was just going to be the papers I put together and, buy, and bind them. But I just added a couple little things just because I thought, you know, why just send blank paper? Um, fix the camera a little. Hopefully you can see okay. So, um, it's just a bunch of avocado dyed and um, coffee dyed paper. But, um, I added this little, these little trims. And I added it with a, believe it or not, a pierced earring. <laughs> so, and then, um, there's another little millinery flower right there. I just thought that was cute on there. And we've got avocado dyed music paper. This is um, part of a runner, an antique French runner actually, um, from France. Um, a friend of mine bought some stuff on eBay and it was shipped from France. And it came with all this old lace and stuff in it as packing so she gave it all to me it's really cool so um I glued it down as a pocket and I put in some cute little actual real ephemera this is an envelope with a letter in it um which I used in my my live tutorial just to show what an old old um envelope would look like and there's an actual letter in there. And then this is an old doctor statement. There's an old check. A coffee filter. Um, coffee diet, obviously. Um, she could use for a pocket or something. And then I included one of the envelopes I made with some little paper in there. So that's in that pocket so she can add those anywhere she wants in here and then I coffee dyed in Tim Holtz spray stain paper more avocado dyed paper coffee paper and then um, this was in the tutorial the score pad my in frame the score pad was but not this so I added that on there and she could even if she wanted to she could go back in and glue it down and make it a top tuck if she wanted um avocado dyed paper it did have a little rip in it, it even has a little hole puncture there but it's okay but the little rip I went ahead and um mended it with some napkin and inked it up a little bit and then you can't really even tell on this other side there was a rip. I added this envelope. It was not in the tutorial. And then, of course, I added an avocado dyed paper behind it and a little black and white photo. More paper. This was not in the tutorial either. This is, I added this little glassine bag. And then this is my center. Um, I did not have this lace in the center before, but 
I thought, you know, it's kind of cute. I think I'm going to add that. So you could leave it like this or you can um, glue these down to make them tucks. Of course, you can ink up everything that you want. Um, I have this laying around. I've, I made this a few years ago and never used it. So I thought maybe she could tuck it there kind of as a little flip and make it a little pocket if she wanted there. Um, so I'm just tucking it in so she could do what she wants with it. Had a little rip, so I stuck another one of those there. This is the other side of that envelope, which she can add a tip in, or she can make a pocket, whatever she wants to do. The other side of that score paper, which of course, again, she can add, make a tip in, or glue it down, make a pocket, or, or whatever. And then the other side of this pocket, and I just stuck a piece of lace, other piece of lace in there. I may stick a couple more pieces of laces in there. Or some, I coffee dye crepe paper all the time. And I love the look of crepe paper on here. When I do my journal, so I might add a little piece of crepe paper in there for her. And then that's it. So, that's what I did cute and simple. I mean, it's pretty much ready to go in a book and, and be written in, or you can add more stuff. Um, so I'm actually thinking of doing more of these, um, maybe call them starter journals, um, and actually put them in my physical brick and mortar store. Um, for people I've been, who want to start junk journaling, um, just so they have something. So, um, I I really enjoy making journals. Um, I wish I was better at writing in them and using them, but I really enjoy making them for people. So, I hope you enjoyed that little flip through, and we'll talk to you later.